So begin by establishing a comfortable posture in your body. Maybe you want to lie down or sit in a cushion or just get comfortable in the seat that you're in, wherever you are. Really allow your body to become comfortable. So important for metta practice to have a comfortable body. And allow your body to relax into this comfortable posture. there's any muscular tension that's present, allow yourself to relax, to let go of that tension and find relaxation. So you might check around your jaw or your shoulders, the arms, the legs. See if you can find a sense of relaxation in the body. Comfortable, relaxed posture. And then from here, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. We want to have a comfortable body, relaxation in the body, and then a gentle, easy smile. These are the three key ingredients for metta practice that we want to set up at the beginning of every metta practice period. Comfortable posture relaxation, letting go of muscular tension and a gentle, easy smile on your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin, but just a gentle, easy smile. In this way, we're setting up the body for metta practice. And from here, we'll begin to involve the mind. Begin by reflecting on things that you're grateful for. Probably you had food to eat today. Probably you have a roof over your head. fresh air to breathe. Maybe it was a beautiful day where you are, where you had time to spend with friends and family members, where you learned something new. Reflect on what you're grateful for.
we prepared the body by finding a comfortable posture and relaxing any muscular tension, as well as bringing a gentle, easy smile to the face. And in the same way, we're preparing the mind for metta practice by considering what we're grateful for. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone that's easy to love. Someone who you feel a easy, uncomplicated sense of love for. Maybe this is a young child in your life or a baby or an animal pet that you have. And even if there's no young child or pet in your life or someone that's easy to love, you could just think about a baby or an animal, even if you don't actually know them. Think about a cute puppy or a kitty or a panda bear. someone that's easy to love and visualize them clearly in your mind. Bring up a visual sense of this person or animal and allow that to affect your body. there's any resonance in the body from considering this easy to love person or animal, really notice and enjoy that, savor it. Allow your grin to grow, your heart to jump. Feel the joy and the love. Very good. Now, imagine that you are like a battery. It's been charged with love. Reflecting on what you're grateful for and considering this easy to love person or animal has 
given you a sense of love and care, connected you to a happiness that you can begin to spread. So visualize this happiness and this love in your body, perhaps emanating from your mouth or your heart. And you can visualize this any way you want to. Maybe it's a pulsing glowing light. Maybe it's red or blue or golden or purple. Maybe it takes a specific shape and maybe it's just an ambient light. But visualize your body filling with love, filling with love. You are a vessel of love and light radiating out. And this is an imaginary exercise. It's not real, but it can have a real impact on your body, on the emotions that you feel in your body, and even the way that others perceive you. So allow yourself to play with these visuals. Find a form of visualization that resonates for you. Visualizing yourself as a kind of vessel of love. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can be playful and experimental. And again, if there's any connection to or resonance in the emotional body, sense of love or joy or gratitude or happiness, really notice and enjoy that. That may or may not be present for you. If it's not, no problem. But if it is, really soak it in, really savor it. Visualize this light and love filling your whole body. Maybe it's starting from, originating from your heart or your mouth. But see it spreading through your whole body. Your arms, your stomach, your legs, your feet. And even extending past your body. Past the boundaries that you identify with yourself. See it radiating out, glowing light and love. We're going to practice directing this in the six directions. So see if you can visualize or intend this love to go forwards, forwards out of your body, 
radiating out like a lighthouse. See if you can spread this love out in front of your body. You can visualize this in your mind, seeing the light pouring out of your body, flooding forwards. And if there's a felt sense of happiness or joy in the body, you can explore and play with what it would be like to intend for those emotions to move forwards, stretching out of your body even, if that's available for you. No problem if it's not. You can just stay with the visualization, intending love to move forwards out of your body. Now you can include the light pouring out to the left, intending the love to radiate out of your body. Left. Stretching out into space. And now you can include the right direction, moving the love out of your body towards the right, stretching out into space. And you can get creative or playful with the visualization. Imagining different colors or lights or shapes. It can even move and dance. Be playful and creative. Find what works for you. Simply spread the love. and begin to include the direction in your back, stretching out the back of your body. So that the love is now going north, south, east and west forwards, left, right, and backwards. Visualize that in your mind, light and love pouring out of your body. 
And if it's available, feel it as well. Feel the love radiating out of your body. Give that gift. And you can begin to include everything that's above you. Seeing the light pour out of the top of your body, stretching out into the heavens. As well as seeping down below, moving from the base of your body into the earth. See yourself and your mind as a beacon of this love, a lighthouse. The light is glowing, radiating out of your body in all directions. Maybe it's golden or red, blue, purple. Maybe it's thick, covering space-time or paper thin, and sweet and loving. Maybe it's static, just covering the whole universe and maybe it's flowing, undulating. Visualize it any way you like. And if it's available, feel the love pouring out of your body, filling the whole universe. Really visualize this aspect of putting yourself as a loving being at the center of the whole universe. Your love stretching out to fill all of space time. This love that you've cultivated is boundless. It knows no bounds. Its very nature wishes to radiate out, filling the whole universe. So visualize that in your mind. And if you like, you can include specific people in this universe. Perhaps someone that you know that's going through a difficult time. See if you can 
Let them be filled, touched, moved by this light and this love. You can see that in your mind, or if you like, you can use mental talk to direct it towards specific people. May you be happy. Saying a phrase like that in your mind directed towards a specific person. Your love is filling the whole universe. And if you like, you can include people that need and deserve that love, intending that that love will touch their hearts, affect their lives. And take a moment to direct some of that love towards yourself. Sometimes it can be hard to have a sense of love for ourselves, have a sense of compassion for ourselves. But you are in fact worthy of love. Of course, unconditionally and intrinsically, but also because you are someone who has practiced cultivating love for others just took time out of your day to practice love and compassion. So you deserve that love as well. Finally, take a moment to reflect intellectually on what this experience was like for you. Did you learn anything? Have any kind of shift or insight or something hard, challenging? Reflect on what your experience was like, knowing that that reflection will help you to cement any learning that you had during this practice period. 